Killing Eve has killed it on TV since 2018, racking up awards, critical acclaim, and a devoted and huge fan base. And now it's gearing up to say goodbye with its fourth and final season, complete with Emmy nominee Fiona Shaw returning as Caroline. Take a look. Who's bothering you, Ben? I don't like the way I feel. I killed two people last night after I tried really hard not to. Okay, well, that's not ideal. Someone has been killing members of the Twelve. I need you to continue the investigation. You're still playing the same old game of chess. So what game are you playing? And Fiona is here with us now. Hi, Fiona. Hello. How nice to see you. Okay, let's set things up for this season. Where do we meet the ladies at the start of things? Well, those of you who watched the previous season saw that, you know, Carolyn committed a crime at the end. I mean, <laughs> however elegantly, shooting people is not, not a crime. And Carolyn shot you know, this awful man who she felt had, had something to do with her son's death. So, you know, because she's so who she is, she doesn't have to go to prison or anything like that because that, she obviously can cover her crimes. She's never really morally quite the same after that. And MI6 kind of kick her out. So she becomes a kind of maverick and does her own thing. What I like about Carolyn is that she comes down from an office or not even an office, floats around MI6 and always has the answer to everything and always comes in, tells somebody what to do and, you know, works out 12 things before breakfast. You feel this ma magical carpet life of Carolyn's. But that stops on this season. That she absolutely is still determined to find out who exactly kills Kenny. But because we will hold on to anything, if there was a Killing Eve spinoff, would you say yes? I would, because I've never played a character that's so not like me. And I've just so enjoyed being her, you know, having that brain and that mind and that surety and that wit and that elegance and that, uh, you know, I'm normally playing scruff bags. So it was really, really good for me. This show was, it felt revolutionary, at least for women, because it had a different female head writer for each season, right? Yeah. Well, it was the birth child. I mean, it was the birth child of Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who was able to do what very few writers can do, which is that she can write in a different voice for each character. And yet there's a totality about her understanding of where they fit. So what can the fans expect in a nutshell for season four of Killing Eve? The beginning of it is astonishing in relation to Villanelle that she sort of tries to reform, which is just hilarious and really out there, experimental beyond. And, um, Eve, you know, starts to be, I think, much more influenced by Villanelle. But Carolyn is a much bigger investigation into who she actually is when she doesn't have her power. Oh, my gosh. You're giving us so much to look forward to. Just last question. I know that you are part of a movie. Is it called If with John Krasinski? Yes, I am. Oh, tell us about it. Tell us about it. Well, he rang me up um, last autumn and he said, I've written this part for you in a film. Now, it's not every day that somebody says that to you. And I was absolutely thrilled. And we talked about it and everything else under the sun. And he's the most delightful, charming man. So we're all going to do that next autumn. I, I can't wait. I can't wait for that. I can't wait to I talk to you for that. And I, I do have to let you go. I know you have a very busy day. So let's just tell everybody that you can catch Killing Eve on AMC Plus and Sundays at 8 p.m. on BBC America. Fiona, I know why everybody reached out to me and said she's the best. You got to do this interview because you're the best. Well, it's lovely talking to you and lovely talking to New York and your children are very lucky to have such a lovely bedroom.